Another part of the research process is finding articles. We've already looked at how to access the Wall Street Journal, but on your course library guide, you'll notice that there are several other databases, uh, some that focus on business and economics topics, some that are more generally focused, they have a little bit of everything, but that little bit of everything includes economics and business, as well as other newspaper databases. If you're interested in doing business research, these databases are a good place to start. How do you find them? Well, you go to the library catalog. If you're unsure of how to log in, check our previous video. You'll click the tile at the top for databases A to Z, and this will populate the alphabetical library database list. From here, you can look at the drop down for all subjects, and you'll see there's a category for economics. You can really use any of these databases. Um, so I will start with economics and theory. So these are great databases to browse. You can see there's a topic finder. Uh, this is great if um, you need to know a little bit more about your topic. You can see the sample here. So for example, if I enter trade, it gives me all of the main subjects that trade appears alongside within the database. This can be helpful. Sometimes it's a little overwhelming. <laughs> so you can also do a basic keyword search uh, or use an advanced search by clicking the link under the search bar. So uh, for example, if I wanted to look at trade relations between the United States and China, you can see that I've broken my search up into different elements. This tells the database, uh, instead of searching for all the words that I put into a search, it tells the database to find all the articles that mention trade. Then it also has to mention the United States. Then it also has to mention China. So instead of just typing in trade and seeing what I get, this allows me to narrow down a little bit. Now, before you do your search, you can also customize. You can see that you can pick peer reviewed journals. You can pick documents that have images. You can look at publication date or the document type. But I'm just going to do a general search based on my keywords. And here are my search results. What I really like about this database is that it gives me different uh, levels of research, so to speak. So I have magazine articles, which usually don't really involve any um, professional research or studies, um, but might be expanding upon newspaper articles, um, you know, or going a little more in depth. I have academic journals. These are usually written by professionals for other professionals. So they tend to uh, be a step above. You also have chapters and information from different books, newspaper articles, and another unique thing about this database is that it also has images. So you can see that these might be statistics from newspaper articles, um, some images which might be helpful in a uh, presentation setting, uh, and occasionally you'll also find political cartoons uh, or similar information. Once you do a search, you'll see on the right side here, you can still limit um, your search results just like we saw before we clicked search. So once you search, you can look at the publication date, change the subjects and the document type. Um, if you find an article that's interesting to you, you'll simply click the title. It will give you sort of that citation information at the top. So we have the authors, the date, what journal it's from, as well as who the publisher is. You start off with an abstract. That's just a summary of the article to figure out if you want to read through it or not. And then you've also got related articles and the related subjects. So from there, you can simply read the article. 
you can see it's full of visual aids. <laughs> and then as we get to the bottom, you'll see that there's a citation tool. So again, you just pick the citation format that your class is using and you have a citation. At the very bottom, again, you'll also see a different set of related articles. In this database, all of your options are at the top of the article, as well as in the top right of the database. So you can uh, alter your reading experience a bit by translating uh, the article into different languages, changing your uh, font size, and even listening to the article read aloud. You can also send the article to any of your drives, your email, download or print it. And then again, at the top, you have the citation tool. It's the same that's at the bottom. You can just access it without having to go through the whole article. Uh, and then you can also get a permanent link to the article. Now that is just one database available to you. I mentioned that there are several others. So looking back at our databases A to Z list, you can see that we've identified Business Source Complete as one of your best bets. Now you can see from appearances, this database looks a little more professional, not as many colors or <laughs> simple options. Uh, so I can try the exact same search here, trade and United States and China. And you'll see that my results are slightly different. They tend to skew a little bit more on the scholarly side. So more professional articles, less newspaper and magazine results, although they are there. I can limit my search on the left hand side. So I can choose peer reviewed articles. I can change the publication date. You could see I can also pick the source. So if I'm just doing research, any of these sources might be okay. Um, but if I need scholarly information, I can look at academic journals. And I can also look at the subjects present in all of the other articles and narrow my search that way. Just like our other databases, I can click on the title of the article. It provides me with information. I have the author, the source that the article's coming from, all of that citation information, as well as, as the abstract, which is just a summary of the article. When I want to read the article, I'll look for the PDF option on the left. And again, you'll see the article opens as a scan. I can go through, read information, glean what I need. And I've also got a giant list of references. All of our options in Business Source Complete appear at the top or down the right side of the article. So I can download the article, print it, send it to cloud, uh, email it to myself. This icon here that looks like a gold sheet of paper that's the citation tool for this database. So depending on what format I'm using, again, I get a sample uh, MLA or APA citation that I can then use um, in my assignments after I double check the accuracy of the information.